Very peaceful, very relaxing. Super quiet, great views. This is a good stay. These are double pane windows, but not separated by an airspace. I don't know how long ago these plants were planted, but it was last year sometime, not before that, because they just finished this build last year. It's February right now, and yeah. Plants are crazy big. Um, to make this build less expensive than the traditional, like, uh, global model. They made a few changes in how they designed it and where they laid out the plumbing, that kind of thing. So, but this is a nice, different design than the typical global model. It's a master bedroom. And the bed's not made, we're just checking out. But a couple nice closets in the back there. And um, the lights, it looks like they put LED light bulbs in, if I'm not mistaken, in a lot of the areas. And <coughs> this might not be, but they do light up a lot better. Kitchen, dining area. If we were to build one of these, we definitely need twice the cabinets in the kitchen. But this is not a bad size for living area. We probably went a little bit wider that direction, but um, you could put a six-person table right here in the middle easily. So in this build, there's no vegas in the ceiling which are very cool, of course, but do add to the labor and to the cost. <clears throat> okay. The vents, there's no skylight vents anymore. So this is a vent right here that goes, uh, it looks like this is the only vent for the living room, the living area in the kitchen. There's a vent there for that master bedroom. I guess it's a master bedroom. It's a little bit bigger than this bedroom, it seems like to me. And there's a vent there for this bedroom. So let's go in there. <clears throat> so yeah, two bedroom, one bath. And in here, kind of a cool little headboard. The typical earthship walls though, which just makes me feel so, <clears throat> like this is home, yeah. Good size closet here. There's the cooling tube. And you know, it's a lot simpler in a lot of ways than the other, but it's still pretty nice. It still does the job. It gets a little bit cooler as you saw if you watched my other videos on like the Viacito and the Euro. Um, it does get a little bit cooler, 65, 64, I think is what it hit yesterday morning, 65 this morning for a low in the kitchen, but it only dropped four degrees overnight. And it's still, it's late February, so it's not super cold, but um, <clears throat> it's not that big of a difference. Uh, yes, it does have Wi-Fi. We watched Netflix um, last night and um, it works fine. So if you're wondering about that, it does work. Of course, they give you a password. Now they're containing the batteries inside instead of on the roof like some of the real old styles. And um, the batteries are down there. The rest of this is all locked up. We can't get into those closets. This is the other end of the bathroom, so shower and there's a sink down there. Over here, this is where the toilet is and another nice sink that has kind of a nice tall faucet here. So. You know, when the greenhouse gets down to 60, 
uh, if you leave these doors open in here, they're about 60 degrees in here as well. So um, it's not like going to an outhouse in Alaska to go to the bathroom, but uh, it is cooler than the um, global models that have the bathrooms sort of inside this inner chamber where the living quarters is. So go ahead and just take a peek outside. So I watched this build, Mike Reynolds, um, Earthship Biotexture put on a video uh, once every day or every few days of their progress. And so cisterns are on the side here and here. Um, solar panels obviously there and there. So the roof actually slopes to the south so that the summer, that the winter sun that shines down at a very low angle still melts the snow up here. And so the snow melts and then it runs off into the cisterns. Okay. In the, in the, style if you're watching my greenhouse build we've put the roof facing north tilted toward the north and that's how a lot of the typical um airships are built obviously they've changed over the years back and forth but <clears throat> in order to get the snow melt to melt that's what they did and it's true because we live just a little ways north of here and the snow hasn't melted off the back of my greenhouse yet because my roof doesn't slope to the south it slopes to the north like that and so you can see it kind of slips down to the south there Okay, so still earth berm, just like all the others. <clears throat> it did snow recently, so a lot of this moisture is just from snow melt back here. They have plugged the cooling tubes, as you can see. And there's four of them. There's one for the one bedroom, two for the kitchen and living quarters and then a fourth one for the for their bedroom okay propane obviously there's the wi-fi antenna not much else to talk about out here it's pretty standard it's like a pretty standard backside of an earthship although we can get a little bit better perspective here and see that the roof does taper down to the north so <clears throat> this has been a fun stay it's been a lot of fun for us staying in the different versions of earth ships and learning about the thinking at the time and how the thinking changed and um one of the best experiences was last night the sun went down it got dark and we watched the moon come up over wheeler peak right there just just to the right of the highest part the full moon came up and it just oh it was, it was it was a very good experience. Very, very good experience. Anyway, Taos over that direction. Um, and you can see some of the other airships around the area. <clears throat> Several of these new newest global models. I think that's the Viacito right there that we stayed in last time that I made another video on. I don't know the names of these. I'm sorry, that's the Viacito right there. And uh, just gorgeous, beautiful, work very well, right about 70 degrees, they hover right about 70 degrees. They're amazing. So, but about twice the cost as this uh, encounter that we just stayed in, so. All right, and the encounter Earthship, 10.07, this 10.07 p.m., 26 degrees outside in Taos. And here in the kitchen slash living room, it's 68. The outdoor temp is the sensors in the greenhouse and it's 64. So let's see what it is in the morning. So next morning, Sunday morning, same place. Seven something this morning. Uh, I'll see. 7.35. And there's our location. There's the temperature outside. And... Here's the temperature in the kitchen, 65, 60 in the greenhouse. So this greenhouse seems to stay warmer, and that's probably because it has more thermal mass around it. 65 here in the kitchen slash living area, and it was 68 when we went to bed last night, about 10. So it's dropped three whole degrees overnight. Um, so 20... 30, 40, 50, 65, 45 degrees warmer here in the kitchen 
than it is outside with no with zero um, energy input to keep it warm okay is it working yes